Hello, this is the review of the Pilot Custom E23 in the amber finish. Let's get into the review. So the clip is pretty stiff. And on the band it says Custom E23. You have three stars that are lacquered inside them. Then it says Pilot Made in Japan. This is a translucent body. You, can, you might see it. There's like, you see the rod in there. This is a vacuum filler. So this body is translucent, which you should be able to see. But in this lighting, it's hard to see. But in real life, it's really easy to see the ink, the amount of ink that's left in there. So let's get into it. So this is the nib. This is a Pilot 15 size nib. It's their own proprietary nibs. And the nib section is really good. It flares out a little bit. It's comfortable to hold. It's made out of resin, so it's not too heavy. And the plunger is made, to, is made out of metal, so it gives a good balance. So it's not too one-sided, even though the back side still has some weight to it. The nib has some scroll work, it says Pilot, 14 karat gold nib, 15, it's a fine nib, plastic feed, like a navy feed. As mentioned, this is a vacuum filler, so there's ink in there, but how you want to fill this is you unscrew it, then it just plunges out, then you see the rod, then once you bring back the rod, Right about here, you just press it and then it just sucks up ink. And the ink, the ink hole is right there. So it has to be a deep enough ink well for you to get enough ink out of it. And to fully fill it up, you have to like, it's a process where once you do it once, then you have to do it like this for all the ink to go down, then do it again. But at one suction, it doesn't take up the entire in, entire capacity, so you have to do it multiple times if you want it to be full. But this holds a lot of ink, so this is a good everyday writer for people that want to use this for daily use. So yeah, now let's get into just size comparisons before the writing writing sample. So this is I forgot to show how it is posted. It is still balanced when posted, and this is a very balanced pen because this is made out of resin. So this is next to Pelican 100, Lamy Safari for common. As you can see, Lamy Safari itself is not a small pen. So Custom E23 is a long pen. It is not for everyone. And selling it eleven. Then you have Mickey Car Royale. As you can see, it is about the same size as the Pelican Eight Hundred, just a little longer. Now let's unscrew. Sorry about the background noise. As you can see, the Pilot Custom E23 is, uh, it's actually, when you put the nib to nib, it's actually the same size as the Safari, but the, the nib is way bigger, and the nib section is way smaller, as you can see, but it's a way comfortable nib section than most pens because it flares out. As you can see, now when you post these pens,
I don't post my pens, but if you do, here's a size comparison. So when it's posted, it's pretty much the same length as the Pelican May 100. Pelican May 100 is actually a little bit longer. And it's about the same size as the Long so far is still longer. But yeah, this is a great pen that you could use. It's a grail pen for a lot of people and for a good reason because it's a really good nib and a very good ink capacity. Now, before I get into the buying sample, I want to talk about what I like and what I don't like about this pen. What I like is the ink capacity, the, ink the filling system, which is the vacuum filler, which is really useful and holds a lot of ink. I like the ink window where you can see how much you have. And even though it's in like an amber finish, there's like, there's a black finish, then there's a demonstrative finish that's only in Japan. So these are three finishes and they're really cool. I like the clips of Pilot, like the Namiki Guard Royale. They look really cool and they're distinguishable. And yeah, I like the nib. It's a very good writing nib. It's very smooth very springy and it's like soft nib. The one thing I don't like is cleaning this vacuum filler. Even though you don't have to clean that often because it has such a ink, big ink capacity, it's just a long time to clean. It's just a pain to clean. And what I also don't like is the price. I got this for brand new for 250, which is expensive for a pen, especially coming off like ballpoint pens and everything. But this is, a very good price for a pen at this level and at this writing experience. But yeah, besides that, I like everything else about this pen. So let's get into the writing sample. Let's get into the writing sample. This is the Pilot Blue ink, which is the ink that comes with the retail versions of this in the US. This is a very soft nib. This is not a flexible nib by any means. It's just soft nib. There's some line variation, but not that much. I mean, this is a Japanese fine, so it's very fine. It's a great nib. The ink isn't the, the ink itself isn't that wet, so but the pen itself isn't wet either, which I like. But it doesn't have an ink flow problem by any means. It's a just a great pen to write with. So yeah, I love this pen for its value that I got for two fifty. I think it's a 
some of the best value pens. Beyond this point, I think the writing experience doesn't really get that much better for pens, but the body of the pen is what's the main selling point after this price point of 250 when you reach Pilot Custom 823. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.